Hi everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode on the Ultimate Tech Hub. Today is our home networking tour 2020. Everything we show you today controls everything inside our house and outside of our house. It's essentially the brains of our home. We hope you enjoy it and remember, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. We've already done a few videos on this home networking box, and we've got a lot of questions and comments about it. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a video that explains everything in this box and also anything that's wall mounted, like our wireless router and our network video recorder. So let's get started. To make this easy to follow, we're gonna start at the demarcation point. The demarcation point is where the coax cable from the cable company comes in and goes into your modem. This is our modem and it's installed in the bottom left of our network panel. From here, we have a network cable that goes to our wireless router. When setting up any kind of network, you must go from modem to router then to switch. So from our wireless router, we have a network cable that goes to our Ruckus ICX switch. And from our Ruckus ICX switch, we have a network cable that goes to our TP-Link 8-port switch. This switch is not managed, so it's basically plug and play. On the bottom right of our network box is our Western Digital Cloud. This is a 2 terabyte cloud. And we back up videos, music, and photos on this cloud. There's a network cable that comes out of the cloud and connects to the 8-port switch. Now above the 8-port switch is our Ruckus ICX switch. Unlike the TP-Link switch, this is managed. And also unlike the TP-Link switch, the ICX switch has PoE connections. That's power over Ethernet. And I probably should clarify, when I say network cable, I mean CAT6 cable. We have various CAT6 cables going into the ICX switch. For instance, this network cable connects to a wireless access point in the hallway which is called WAP for short. And this wireless access point is a Ruckus wireless access point. At the bottom left, we have a Ring Elite power injector. So there is a network cable that runs from the Ring Elite doorbell all the way to the injector. And then we have a network cable going from the Ring Elite PoE injector to our TP-Link 8-port switch. We've also installed two power strips. One in the middle, and then one on the side of the panel. The bottom of the panel has power outlets, but just not enough. Okay, let's look at the top of the panel. We have four devices here, and we'll go left to right. First, we have the Lutron Smart Bridge Pro. This allows us to connect up to 75 Lutron switches or dimmers. And this allows us to access these switches or dimmers from anywhere in the world. We can turn on lights, turn off lights. We can set schedules. We can dim lights. And we can have the lights go on randomly or off randomly to appear like we're home when actually we're on vacation. And this device is the SmartThings Hub. SmartThings lets you easily control, monitor, and secure your home from anywhere in the world. The SmartThings Hub will let you connect different smart locks, lights, outlets, and thermostats, and more. The next device to the right is the Kivo Plus. If you have a Kivo lock, then the Kivo Plus is a must. The one big feature of the Kivo Plus is being able to lock and unlock your door remotely, no matter where you are. And the last device in the network panel is the HDMI extender. This allows me to run HDMI over Ethernet. So right here I have a network cable that goes from here all the way into my family room. This allows me to see my cameras on our 65 inch screen TV. Okay, let's go ahead and look above the network panel. We have our Linksys wireless router. And above that we have our Reolink NVR system. We have hidden the wires behind the wall and they're run into the network panel. And we organized them with Velcro and twisty ties. And the last thing we're going to look at is our NVR monitor. It's on the top shelf to the left. And up here we have a mouse that allows us to make changes to the NVR system. 
like formatting hard drives or adjusting cameras. So now that we're done with the panel, let's take a look at the devices that are controlled with this network panel. Let's start with the thermostats. We have three Echo B Plus thermostats. We've owned a few smart thermostats, and Echo B Plus is a really good one. It's a little more expensive than, say, Honeywell, but it's way more reliable. Here are a bunch of our Lutron switches and dimmers. These are all controlled through my SmartBridge Pro, which is in my network panel. Here's our Kivo front door lock, which connects to our Kivo Plus in the network panel. We also have automated blinds in our family room. These blinds can be controlled with a remote control, an app on your phone, or even Alexa voice commands. And speaking of Alexa, this is our Alexa show. This is a Sonos speaker. This speaker sounds incredible. It's got some really good bass to it. This is a Leviton Z-Wave plug-in. This controls lights with Z-Wave technology. This is a SoMFi MyLink RTS smartphone interface. This allows us to control our blinds from our phone. And we have an iRobot Roomba vacuum that we control with our phone. And we have set up for scheduling for every other day. And this is our GE Smart Oven, which is controlled through Wi-Fi. We also have various Echo Dots throughout the house. And with Alexa, we can control virtually anything in our house with our voice commands. Outside of our house, we have six PoE cameras from Reolink. We have a Ring Elite doorbell. And lastly, we have a Kitty Hawk wire-free camera on the side of our house. Inside our house, we have a Reolink PTZ camera. This is the E1 Pro. And we also have two Nest cameras. Well guys, that's it. This is all our devices in our house. We've done about six or seven videos on all these devices. So please check out our YouTube channel for all the videos. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe. It's free.